Uh, uh, we came to a conclusion that uh, we were reaching some irreconcilable differences uh, on the lease terms that uh, uh, we, the Navy, and, and, and GSY just couldn't come into agreement on, frankly. Uh, so we felt it was in our best interest to, to terminate the negotiations and back up and, and reconsider our strategy for going forward. NAFAC Marianas is now considering a new way of contracting out ship repair services that would combine both the contract for repairs and the lease of the property property together. Currently, the Military Sealift Command contracts out ship repairs, and the Navy leases the ship repair facility property through a lease with the Guam Economic Development Authority, who in turn leases the property to the Guam shipyard. Instead of a long-term real estate lease that would be upwards of 40 years in duration, we're going back to a, a, uh, a shorter term uh, uh, a contract arrangement where MSC would be contracting directly for ship repair uh, services. And as part of that arrangement, uh, we would make the shipyard uh, property, government furnished property under the terms of that contract. This means that the Military Sea Lift Command would issue a contract out for ship repairs and the property itself would just be a part of that contract rather than a separate lease. And since the contract would only be for five years at a time, it would do away with long-term leases of the property. But the Navy isn't set yet on this idea. Instead, they will conduct an industry survey first to see if this idea will work. They plan on putting the survey out in mid-January, and once completed, they will decide on how to proceed. But in the interim, the current lease with Gita and the Guam shipyard will remain in place. Okay. Details are still being worked out to see, is that going to work? We're still mulling that over, but that's the concept that we're kind of laying out for industry right now with this market survey.